So this is Sharona Frederick from the U.S. We've never uh, been filmed like this before. No, and this is... Uh, uh, she would give an explanation to uh, why... Uh, how, how it came that the Morocco family name uh, was, uh, was uh, actually from where the Morocco family in Lodge came. So please. Please. Okay. So, um, following the expulsion of the Jews from Spain in 1492, the vast majority of them went to areas in the Mediterranean and North Africa and Greece, Italy, but there actually were some, few, but there definitely were some. This has been documented for us by great scholars like Chaim Benar in Israel, Boleslao Lewin in Argentina. There were some who actually went to Ashkenaz, to Eastern Europe, a very few who went there, a very few who went to the New World. Right now I'm going to deal with those who went to Ashkenaz because there were certain Sephardic Jewish clans uh, or family groups, some of whose members ended up in Krakow where there actually had been a very tiny Sephardic community. Um, in fact, prior to the Nazi invasion of Poland in 1939. Um, and some other Polish Jews from different groups, one of which was Nachman, from that, from that clan of the Rabbi Nachmanides, Rabbi Moshe ben uh, Nachman from 13th century Catalonia. One of the reasons why we find the name Nachman among many Polish Jews, that is not an Ashkenazic name, that name actually uh, is a Sephardic name. Um, and then there are other Jews who have names, place names, such as the name Morocco, <laughs> okay, um, or other place names in El Andalus in southern Spain. These place names refer, without a doubt, um, to points of origin in southern Spain and North Africa from where these Jewish families originally came, even though there may have been uh, a six or seven hundred year uh, distance between that point of origin and where they were in 1492. Therefore, Polish Jews who might have a last name like Toledo, or Morocco would have been descendants of families which could have been living anywhere in Spain in 1492, but which originally would have come from certain places in Andalusia and originally North Africa, which is where all of the Jews who eventually arrived in Andalusia uh, came from. Um, and just to finish this up, although, of course, we can say through centuries and centuries of intermarriage with Ashkenazic Jews, um, you, you might want to say the Sephardic branch is a little bit diluted, you can definitely say the origin is there. That's, well, where, that's why you get Morocco. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Thank you for your lecture. You're welcome.